Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Half-Life 2 Episode 2. Last time we finally, finally made it to White Forest, and now we're gonna be... Oh, hey, it's them again. We're gonna be, uh, just heading our way through the base itself. Meeting up with old friends. Hey! Gordon! Man, you made it! Yep. Dad! Alex! I was so afraid I wouldn't see you again. There, there, sweetheart. We're together now. That's all that matters. Yeah. And look at you, son. <laughs> I knew if you both stayed together, you could get through anything. Yeah? We make a pretty good team. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good because, well, now that the suppression. <laughs> I love you, Eli now, right here. <laughs> we all have to do our part. Dad? Can you blame an old man for warning grandkids? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> What's. What happened to you? Dad, it's not what it looks like. I'm fine. Are you sure? Shouldn't we have that look at? Really? I'm fine. D just uh, tell her him climbing. that the Vortigaunts healed you up. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes, we should. He'll be glad for a chance to get out of the silo. Hey, this come on. Way, Gordon. Okay, sorry, dude. I just wanted well, to say hi. Been going yet. You think they were still competing for grant money? <laughs> <laughs> Some things never change. <laughs> Yeah, Magnuson, like the other characters in this game, is implied to be a character who appeared in the original Half-Life, but just not one that ever got named. And what about the Combine? Will we be able to launch before they attack? It's going to be close. Nope. All it would take is one Strider to destroy our rocket, but we're ready for it. I'm sorry we couldn't get here any sooner, Dad. Don't worry, sweetheart. We're going to make it. I'm just so glad to have you back. <laughs> I'm glad to be back. <sighs> I love that line. <laughs> Eli, why didn't you tell me they'd arrive? Don't worry, Izzy. They just got here. My dear, what a relief. Not to mention a delight to see you here at last. Uh. And Gordon, I see you in the HEV suit have taken excellent care of each other. <laughs> They're inseparable. Yeah, literally, that I cannot get this off. That data. Kleiner, are you going to sync up the satellite, or should I postpone the launch to make time for a family reunion? Oh, brother. Oh, yeah, oh, nobody right. likes Magnus. I was just <laughs> saying hello to Alex and Gordon. Oh, fine. No one grants me a moment's peace, but by all means, unroll the red car. <sighs> Good grief. What a I only meant what an ass. Reason. Oh, never mind him. Now, my dear, where is this data packet you've been carrying? If I delay a single moment, I'll never hear the end of it. You have my word on it. Oh, by the way, if you were to try to go for the gnome achievement, this is where you would stash it. Uh, hey, 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 get out. Transmission from Judas? Get out of there. We've got to see this right away. Just let me start the decoding process, and then we can view it in the auxiliary control room. For God's sake, hurry. Yes, yes, of course. Another alarm? Oh, what next in the parade of constant interruption? <laughs> hello, hello, is anyone there? Anyone? <sighs> False alarms all day. Damn crows have been nesting on the tracks. I do not know how I am supposed to concentrate with all of this racket. Freeman. Freeman, you're not doing anything. Make yourself useful and find out what the hell is going on in there. Uh, yes. Gordon, if you don't mind, I'd feel better if you had a look. Catch up with us when you're done. Okay. Freeman! And, uh, yeah, this doesn't open, so... Last doors will have sealed due to the alert, so you'll have to go through the bottom of the launch tube. I'll open this hatch to let you down. Now, once you're down there, I'll have Uriah let you into the secondary silo. Yeah, okay. Uh, looking around. Magnuson will get mad at you if you spend. See? Oh, shut up! Nobody likes you! Ugh. Okay, apparently the reason Magnuson is such an ass is that 
apparently the developers realized that there was too much commodity amongst the uh, the, um, the the staff, so they added Magnuson to add some hostility to the staff. We all look forward to his remedy, and I look forward to hearing the staff's excuses for why they couldn't handle it themselves. Thank you for your patience. Ah, and here's something we haven't seen for a while, a steam vent. We haven't seen one of these since way back at the beginning of the first Half-Life Life 2. Um... Oh yeah, and by the way, you do need to actually break this. Even though you're not supposed to... Because, uh, Uriah's not gonna notice you otherwise. And yes, that is Uriah. Uriah is a Vortigaunt. The only Vortigaunt who actually gets it properly named. Freeman! The Magnuson has instructed me to admit you into the secondary silo. He's wearing a lap coat. The secondary silo uh, that makes him even cuter. God. Okay, heading off into this chamber. Shut up! These feathered fiends are the most persistent I have ever. Wait, what is this? Um. Hey, an extra pair of hands right through here. Yeah. Magnuson must have sent it. Oh, jeez. Oh. Well. Okay then. Oh my god. Oh dear. This is a breach. A breach. Attention. Oh crap, an SCP is breaching containment. We are experiencing a breach of internal base defenses. Please bear with us while we pinpoint the location of the breach. Okay, yeah, just get through here. Now this section is a little bit interesting because the hunters really can't hit you for the most part while you're down here. And uh, oh that actually works. I did not expect that to work. In general, nothing but heavy fire tends to kill these guys. I don't remember exactly how many hunters are down here, but there's a few. Oh, and yeah, there are man hacks here as well. The only time they even show up in episode two. I know it's behind me. What do you think I'm shooting at? Air? Oh, this segment is really loud. I didn't realize how loud this sequence was. Until, okay, man hack, leave me alone. Uh, I'm carrying this specifically because I think there's another hunter in here. Yes, there is. And it just killed the last rebel, so... I thought that killed it, but then... Nope. Throw the man hack at the hunter. Actually succeeding killing the hunter with a man hack. Wow. No more enemies in here, but we're not quite done with this segment because there's still a, a few more enemies we have to clear out up the, up ahead. Right, finish that. Whoa! Oh shit! Oh, uh, you know what that means? Uh! <laughs> Kill them with their own turret. So that always bugs me as to why the, the combine took the time to set up a turret. That really seems time consuming and a, a kind of. I don't know why there's water in this room. Magnuson, shut your fucking mouth. I'm doing that. You know, I'm gonna crowbar that guy. Knock that turret down. And I'll oh, no, 
not have used the shotgun for that, but it would have taken too long. And there's shotgun guys in here, so... Oh, jeez! Okay, so there is a... Okay, surprise hunter! Ugh. Luckily, the hunters go down pretty easily on easy mode. And most people will be like, why didn't you just switch it back to normal if the, hunt if the game is too easy? Well, uh... Thing is, the final boss is ridiculous, even on normal. And I can't even imagine how difficult it would be on hard. And once again, this music is bopping. I don't, I don't know what this track is called though, unfortunately. Oh, by the way, that water—I don't think that actually leaves any. Oh, never mind. I think this does. Yeah, this is, I think, where you're supposed to go, but... But then I stupidly, uh, go back the way I came, I think. Freeman, I repeat, there has been a breach of the secondary silo by way of... Magnuson, I know. Yeah, okay, yeah. See, I go the wrong way, because I'm a fucking moron. No, you're supposed to go down here. why they're sending in just soldiers to stop the rocket though, like hunters. Uh, what will they do? The, the, the combine don't use rocket launchers, so this is hard to know. What will they do? Oh, not your head. I think until you seal the door, the enemy spawn in. This part's a little difficult because you got a platform while also avoiding all the combines that are shooting at you. you Magnuson, if you don't fucking shut up, I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna come in there and shoot you. Oh yeah, that's a gunner. That's this, this is a little difficult. Ah. And there are man hacks here too. How fantastic! I'm gonna proceed to waste all my SMG grenades here and not even get them. Oh no, I did get them. The problem is, no matter who you hit, if the Combine managed to get back over to the gun, one of them's gonna take it over. Yeah, there's a mounted gun in here. And, uh, a little bit And now just take the gun and start shooting at the Hey! I see you! See you, goddamn it, Pfizer. I don't know if I mentioned this before or not, but uh, the Elite Combine in this episode will drop batteries instead of dropping uh, uh, laser shots. Presumably because dropping laser shots would make them wait for the next time far too busy. And I am pleased to announce the secondary silo has been sealed. Well, back to work. Yep, it's back to work now, because uh, it's not like we need to prepare for presumably the backup these Combine are sending in. Whatever. Okay, get through the window. Gordon, thank goodness you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. <sighs> Glad that's over. Yeah, same. Take this med kit. Oh, thanks for the med kit. The silo when the blast doors opened up. I'm sorry, over here. I better let my dad know you're all right. Uh, box is walking me. Dad? Yes, Alex. Is everything okay? Is Gordon all right? Yes, he's fine. Guys, just guys, you don't need to worry thanks about to me. I can do. Good. I can do anything. We're about to watch the transmission from Judas. I can't tell, it's early in the morning when I'm recording this, but I just want to get this done, because I'm almost done recording all the narration for this. The Freeman must follow. I will do whatever that Vortigaunt says. Whatever that Vortigaunt in a lab coat says, okay. If you would take the Freeman from here, I can return to my place of honor at the side of the Magnus. <laughs> sure thing. Place of honor? 
Dude, that's such bullshit. The Judith headed north in a helicopter right after they got here. But he wouldn't tell me why. Yeah, why wouldn't he? Why would he not tell you why she left? Oh god, we get to see creepy Alex again whose eyelids appear to have completely vanished. Oh dear god, that that's terrifying. I'm gonna be seeing that in my nightmares I'm tonight. Sure I've down the location of the project. It's hard to say how much of it might have survived intact, or whether there's anything remaining that could compromise our work if it were discovered by the Combine. We'll need to take a close look at it, of course, but I should be able to give a better opinion within a few hours. If the site is where we think it is, then it should be no more than yeah, same transmission from episode one. Except, slight difference, the hunter's model has been updated once we get to see it. Never have let him go. There was no stopping The hunter's model has been updated to the episode two Wait a moment. model. There's something else here. <gasps> it's the Borealis. Good God. Incredible. What? The Borealis? It's real? Oh yes, quite real, despite its almost legendary stature. Our peers at Aperture Science were at work <laughs> Aperture on Science, a portal promise, reference. Because Portal came out the like same year as this game. Though the Borealis itself does not appear in Portal 1. Though there is an, a reference to it in Portal 2 in one area. ...had simply disappeared, vanished, with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. Few believed the Borealis would ever be seen again. It should have been lost forever. Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the Combine. Did you- Use it? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all that potential- Has Black Mesa taught you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes. There's always a risk, Eli. But my goodness, we have coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Quite ingenious of Dr. Mossman to hide it all in the carrier way. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But if the Combine catch her, they'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure I won't that... take that chance. I'm going after Dad. Her. Now, Eli, the only thing worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. But didn't she they already? Ridiculous of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get her back. Kleiner, where are you? Why isn't the decoding finished? Oh, fie. The code. Yeah. Yes, Magnuson. It just needs a little bit longer. If you're waiting for the Combine's go-ahead, they'll soon be here to give it to you in person! I'll hurry it along, Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Dad, are you okay? Not again. No, I can't. I can't let it happen. Oh, I missed this, but if you were to turn around and look at the monitors right there, when that that sound clip played, if you heard that, uh, you'd see the G-Man on every single Prepare monitor. Prepare for unforeseen consequences. What did you say? Dad! Okay. It's okay. Just, just lean into me. Let's get you off your feet. Thank you, baby. I'll be fine in a minute or two. Okay. Do you need anything? Actually, Alex, would you... Would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a... Hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Gordon, keep an eye on him. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on him. We're not going anywhere. Thank you, babe. Unforeseen guns. I'm just gonna stay quiet for this. The last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa. You had just stepped into the test chamber when he whispered them in my ear. You know who I'm talking about. Our mutual friend. When he brought in that crystal, I knew I... I should have aborted that damn test, but I didn't. The whole world went to hell that day. And now... Now he's using my little girl. Putting words in her mouth. God damn it. I should have known when he rescued her, it was for his own damn reasons. Gordon, there's so much I need to tell you. Between us, we may finally have a chance of 
Um, Here you go. Is everything all right? There's nothing, honey. All right, people, change of plans. There is no way we can launch before those striders are. Oh, oh, excuse okay, me. Okay, I can I'm talk again, you. which means I can shoot the shit out of Magnuson, even though it won't kill him, unfortunately. Well, Freeman, I believe I found the perfect use for you. I don't want to do Call anything me. for you, Quickly. damn it. <sighs> but unfortunately, we do have to do that, but we'll do that I'll in the next part of Let's Play Half Life 2, Episode 2. See you next time. Bye bye.